We have discussed about domain hosting servers on our channel, and if you have not seen that video, you should check out our video on Definity Project. However, aside from server, the blockchain technology is about to change what we all know as domain name service. Imagine only paying about 5 US dollars for your domain name per year, or about 50 US dollars for 10 years. This is a lot cheaper than the two-year premium plans from regular DNS providers. That's absolutely incredible. Right, today we are going to discuss about ENS also known as Ethereum name service. You are probably familiar with domain names, like youtube.com and coinily.com. This domain names have been around for a very long time, however, the ENS is here to reshape what we know as domain names. So what is ENS? Simply put, the ENS, which is also known as Ethereum name service domains, are the decentralized Ethereum-based naming system. An alternative to DNS also known as domain name system. ENS is an open source, distributed, and community-owned naming system that resides in the Ethereum blockchain. It was developed at the Ethereum Foundation in early 2017, proposed and created originally by the developers by the name Nick Johnson and Alex Van de Sand. An ENS domain essentially allows a user to shorten their alphanumeric wallet address into a domain name format and is often used as an identity on social media channels like Twitter. This domain name address can then be used instead of a wallet address to send funds via an exchange or Web 3.0 wallet. However, at its core, ENS comprises of two main components. Firstly, is the ENS registry, which lives in a smart contract running on the Ethereum blockchain and has a record of all domains and subdomains, detailing the owner, resolver, and caching time to live for all records under that domain. The second important component are the resolvers, which are the actors responsible for translating the ENS domain names into the underlying referenced address or hash. The resolver's task is to reference the domain name and then respond with the resource wallet address. With those two components listed let's map the basic ENS architecture and flow. When resolving an ENS address, you first queries the ENS registry for an ENS address. Then the registry answers you with the resolver that should be queried for the mapped content. And the resolver in return points you to the final address or content in the domain references. Let me put this in a simpler analogy. When you load or query the ENS registry for any ENS address, the ENS registry will then answer with the resolver that has the mapped content and then the resolver will then show you the content of the domain references or the domain address. Right now, ENS is growing in popularity in browsers like Opera Mobile, Metamask Mobile, or any popular browser using the Metamask extension that supports .eth domains. Even on Fleek, ENS domains are gaining a lot of traction. Over 10% of deployments on Fleek are associated with an ENS domain, and over 4,000 sites have added an ENS name already. ENS adoption still needs to grow, and P2P content storage or delivery networks are evolving as well to better achieve this. But, ENS domains and the idea behind them definitely represent the foundation of what hosting and content serving should look like in Web 3.0. Because unlike the DNS they are, decentralized, immutable, censorship resistant, and user owned or user controlled, now let's put these all together. ENS resides in the Ethereum ecosystem, which itself is a big technology. Rather than being an alternate blockchain or network, it exists in an ecosystem in which it can easily interact with most of the decentralized use cases. It also pairs up well with dApps, DeFi, NFTs, DAOs, and wallets. That's not all it can do, it can also integrate all of those use cases under a single address. With DNS, your domain, identity, payments, and bank are all separate things. However, with ENS you can unite at all these things in a single address that becomes not only your site, but also an identity and a bank. Furthermore, ENS has a native token called the ENS token that governs the Ethereum name service. The ENS token will be used to propose and vote for changes to the protocol. What is Handshake? Handshake is a software that aims to incentivize a distributed network of computers to operate and manage a new system for domain name ownership. You may not be aware, but today, website addresses are governed by a non-profit body called ICANN, which sets standards for what letter combinations can be used after the dot in any domain, such as .com, .org, .net and the many other varieties. 
Handshake seeks to replace ICANN's role as central authority for creating and issuing top-level domains with an open auction system operated by its computing network. Since ICANN isn't in the picture, Handshake believes it can offer an unlimited range of top-level domains. Furthermore, creating an alternative to a centralized entity like ICANN also has another important side effect. Over time, it could help make a group of companies involved in the management of domains called certificate authorities or CAs obsolete. On today's web, CAs tell users whether they are connecting to a genuine website. You can see a CA at work every time the green padlock icon appears on your browser URL bar. For instance, if you load youtube.com, you will find a padlock icon on the URL box by the left that normally indicate the website is secured, and at times you might find a caution sign on that same angle for another domain URL indicating that website is not secured. These activities are the work of CAs. However, a problem with the current system is that CAs, through error or manipulation, can make mistakes in identifying a genuine website. The CA system also depends on ICANN to maintain a list of domains, making it subject to errors that could arise from central management. But while using Handshake, the verification that tells users whether they can trust a website would move to the blockchain, potentially creating a new way to manage one of the web's oldest resources. Let's look further into how Handshake works. To put as simply, Handshake is a system for distributing website addresses through auctions. With Handshake, auctions for top-level domain names are held every two weeks. Users must bid using Handshake's cryptocurrency, HNS, to take part in the auction. The winning bidder pays the second highest price, using a format known as a Vickery auction. These auctions are all handled automatically by the Handshake software. Guys, this video is sponsored by the like button, so if you still haven't liked this video kindly do that, and let's wrap this up. If you believe the internet's basic infrastructure could be better managed by a decentralized alternative, then you will understand the importance of what Handshake is trying to achieve. Whether they will be able to disrupt the $3 billion domain name registration business with a more trusted alternative is another debate. But the opportunity we will have with a censorless and decentralized domain system is too good not to embrace. Kindly like this video to help us get it to as many people as possible and subscribe to our channel. We need to grow this community, so please share our video with your friends. Don't hesitate to let us know what you think about Handshake and let us know other project that you will like us to work on. See you next time.